the biggest challenges I had when I was really struggling in my relationship with alcohol was this incessant preoccupation with drinking. I was thinking about drinking, I was craving drinking, craving alcohol, telling myself I can't drink, but I want to drink. No, I shouldn't drink. And I was just reflecting on this memory I had where I went away on this long weekend with some friends uh, many years ago and was hanging out with friends at the time who didn't really drink because part of my strategy to fix my drinking problem and quit drinking or at least reduce my drinking was to hang around with people that didn't really drink. So we went away on this long weekend and I was thinking, great, there's not going to be a ton of alcohol. It'll be a good chance for me to kind of take a break from drinking and be around people who are a better influence than my drinking buddies. But what happened for me is we get going on this long weekend and I just start obsessively thinking about alcohol. We're driving together on the road and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I really want to get a drink. I wish I would have brought alcohol with me, yada yada. Uh, we stop at the grocery store to get food for the weekend and my friends are kind of debating like, should we get wine? Should we not get wine? And these are people who don't have a drinking problem. So to them, it was no big deal. But to me, I was like, yes, please, let's get some wine. But I also didn't want to be that person that was like, yeah, let's get wine. Um, they ended up getting wine, but they didn't get enough. Like I could easily drink a bottle or two to myself. And I think they got one or two bottles for like four or five of us to share. And I was just thinking, that's going to be annoying. I'm only going to be able to have a couple of glasses. Like I want to be able to drink more. Um, the weekend goes on. We do have these drinks. Again, I can't drink like I want to. I'm just obsessively thinking about it to the point where I, I start going through the stuff of the person's house where we're staying at. Like I start going through their cabinets to see if they have alcohol that I could like sneak from. And I ended up finding this bottle of tequila, but it was sealed. Um, and later on, I found out that it was like a bottle that they um had gotten on like a special trip and they were saving it for a special occasion no i did not open it but i was so tempted to think of ways to open it and break the seal and maybe refill it back up i remember like running back to the cabinet looking at it seeing is there any way i can take a pull from it i was like looking around looking for other alcohol that maybe i could drink it was just like a horrible experience and the weekend was so fun but for me my addiction to alcohol and my obsessive thoughts and cravings about alcohol kind of ruined it for me like the whole weekend I was just like wanting to drink wanting to get drunk kind of being teased with like a glass or two of wine here and there um, really feeling frustrated that I couldn't drink and this was how I spent my life for nearly 10 years this is what it feels like to have an addiction to alcohol it's really this mental preoccupation that just doesn't leave us alone and this is all also why it's so challenging for many people to quit drinking alcohol even if they really want to get this problem under control like I did I really wanted to fix this issue but it's this overpowering thought process and preoccupation and craving that is beyond logic and reason and beyond self-control no matter how much discipline and willpower I would put forth that chatter and that desire and that craving would still be there talking to me like you need a drink you need a drink and that's why I am such an advocate now for the Sinclair method and so grateful for this treatment for alcohol addiction uh, because it works to reverse the alcohol addiction in the brain. And for me, what that meant is that I no longer had that obsessive thoughts and chatter about drinking anymore. The desire for alcohol just started to fade into the background to the point where it became non-existent. And I haven't drank in five years uh, because of this treatment. And I honestly feel like the addiction has just been erased from my brain. And this was after me suffering for 10 years, trying so many different times to moderate my drinking or quit drinking and nothing was working until I went on this treatment. Um, if you're not familiar with it, all my videos are about it. You can also learn, learn more with the resources linked in my bio.